So, sorry, if you just caught us, Bruno was just making sure he looked well. Now, um, we just saw an amazing, incredible workshop to a really current hip-hop grime tune with Stormzy and Ed Sheeran taught by this gentleman here, a fabulous dancer, judge, choreographer. How was it, bruv? How did it feel teaching to that many people? Yeah, it was great. Um, the response was really good. Um, it was intermediate advanced, so okay. I really tried to push them. And they came through, man. They came with some fire, and it was nice to see fire from UK, Sweden, Spain, Ireland, just people from everywhere just coming together and jamming. It was good. How does that work? Because I saw some people out there, and I thought English definitely isn't their first language. How is it? How difficult is that to teach dance to a lot of people that speak a lot of different languages in one space? I don't think it's difficult because I feel like dance itself is a universal language. Yeah, yeah. Everybody understands music and you may not count in the same language, but the breakdown and rhythm, rhythm patterns are the same regardless. Yeah. So if you listen hard enough as a dancer, no matter what, what language you speak, you, sh you, you should be able to pick it up. Nice. nice, nice, nice. And what do you try and push for when you teach a workshop? What's the one thing you definitely want to get out for those dancers? I think the main thing for me is the effort that is put in. I want to make sure that people are putting in 100% because then they'll get out 100%. Yeah. I feel it's really important to break down things a lot so that they have a chance for it to sit in their bodies rather than just rush, 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 try to get to the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really important that you, even if we do it a million times that they have it and they can go away with it. That's I think the most important thing. How would you feel if you saw someone doing your routine in their solo this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> um, I might have to just quickly look out and then and then maybe just put them through because they came to the workshop. <laughs> I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. Christy Simon, that was a joke. Yeah. Um, and what do you look forward to for judging? Because you're judging this weekend as well. What's the main thing that you look forward to with that? Um, I'm doing quads and teams mainly. So I'm just looking to see what fire people are bringing. Um, the stakes are very high this year. There's a lot of people here. People have really got to raise their game this year. So it's very interesting to see what people are going to bring. Dope. Bruno, always a pleasure, bruv. Thank you so much. That's what I'm saying. See, I know all of them. I'm just... He's gone.